did, so... No, I like that you did that. I think we should save the double time, the double neck part, which is the after double neck. So save it till the end. Go half time like the save whole song. Save it till the end. Okay, right on. Yes. More I guess I didn't really know what to do with the shock of finding out David Bowie passed away. I didn't. I just didn't know what to do with it until I decided to just be creative, just like he was. Just take the torch, take the baton, and uh, I just forced myself to write a bunch of new songs. And I called Ken Coomer, who owns a studio in my neighborhood here in Nashville. And I called. My buddy Phil D'Agostino from Philadelphia, who's a bassist. And I said, hey, I wrote a bunch of new songs. We're 16 years old. Let's go in the studio and have fun. Just bash it out. I read somewhere a long time ago, and it might have been a Bob Dylan thing or a Woody Guthrie thing, but like where you make music, you're kind of just putting out a news bulletin, a musical news bulletin, and then you just move on. And that's sort of the way we did this album. Like, the songs were written really fast. We're going to record them really fast. One or two takes. And that's it. It's just a news bulletin. It's just this moment in time. It's not something to obsess over. It's just Tuesday. When we were done, Kuma was like, this is so cool, man. What are you going to call it? I'm like, you know, I don't know. He's like, maybe, maybe you should have like a an alias, a fictitious band name or something. I'm like, all right, you know what? We'll call it Mr. Chocolate. I drew a picture of Mr. Chocolate, and that's what it became. Mr. Chocolate.